Hey everyone, it's Matt here, the Toku Dragon. And today, I am not wearing my leather jacket. It is extremely hot in New York. I don't know if you've seen some of the weather in New York. I don't know what the weather is like where you are, but personally, I'm not gonna wear a leather jacket and die in this heat, especially because I have the light up there on because of course, you know, we're filming to get, you know, and having better lighting and whatnot. So uh, that's not why you're here. Just letting you know if you're a little confused. You're like, what's what's going on? Why, why is why I see like this? Because it is extremely hot and I'm not gonna let this heat take me. So, point is though is that you're here for Shin Kamen Rider news. Now, I didn't actually talk about the news that popped up just last week and the reason why, there are actually two reasons why. The first being that I do have some in real life stuff going on right now. Nothing horrible, don't you worry, but I am completely swamped. So when it comes to videos for this channel and also for some of the other channels that we have as well, things kind of slowed down and you know, I put out some of the backlog that we had, but they slowed down real, like a lot. So I couldn't put out any of the uh, breaking news stuff that I usually do, but the second second reason, I think this one is a lot more important than that, is because of the fact that when we saw the initial news, there was just a placeholder image. It did show a date, which was May 31st of this year. I'll get to that date a little bit later and why I think it, you know, does make sense. It's not, you know, like too soon or anything like that. It actually tracks and it makes a lot of sense. But it was just a placeholder image. That initially, I thought it was fake, but then when I clicked on the AMC link, it took me to the webpage and I thought, okay, so maybe it's a placeholder date, but at the very least, this is real. You know, Shin Kamen Rider is coming out to the US. And I was super hyped about it, tweeted about it and whatnot, but when it came to the YouTube channel, just couldn't take that time to sit there and talk about it. And I thought that, you know, maybe we'd have some more information come up. So I thought also, maybe I should wait. Well, here we are. The information came up, and now we can officially see that, yes, Shin Kamen Rider is coming out in the U.S. It's another Fathom event, just like with Shin Ultraman. However, as of the recording of this video, there is some bad news, and we'll talk about that right now. So before we talk about the bad news, let's talk about the good news. So Wednesday, May 31st, 7 p.m., and it will be English subtitled. So you can actually put in your zip code on AMC's website. I will be linking it, by the way, in the script box down below. You can go to AMC's website and you can actually see if it's available in your area. Don't worry if it isn't, though, because even though it's available in my area, and there are multiple theaters showing it, I'm not bragging, hold on, please hear me out, don't come with the pitchforks, hold on. When I tried to actually buy multiple, at least like one ticket per seat, because I kept on trying to buy a seat, and it said, sorry, the seat is either already taken or is actually separated due to COVID restrictions, which I'm happy to hear that last part, but it's never happened to me before when buying a ticket. Only happened, to be fair, I only bought like one ticket, but I bought it for two days, and that was for Shin Ultraman, and nothing like this ever happened. So I was curious, wondering why it would happen in this case, and I kept on trying to buy a ticket again and again and again, and tell me down below if you have any success out there, but personally, I have had no success buying tickets at this particular theater in a, you know, in New York, specifically like New York, New York, like the city. And I was trying to like, over and over and over again, and I just couldn't get it. And I'm under the impression that the bad news here is that sadly, these are just placeholder, not the date particular, but these are placeholder locations. But the good news is, is that perhaps more locations could be added because my local one, the one that's closer to me that, you know, had the Fathom events for Shin Ultraman are not having the one for Shin Kamen Rider. And I've seen other people say as well, hey, it's not, you know, that close to me. It's an hour, it's a theater that's an hour away from me or just no locations whatsoever. So while the good news might be that more locations are going to be added, hopefully, the bad news is that even though we can see all these seats here, they don't seem to be all, you know, purchased and like able to be purchased. And uh, thankfully, they don't seem to all be sold out for that reason as well. So we could end up, you know, getting the chance to see it at a later date. I don't think we're going to get another like viewing or anything like that. I think it's just going to be the one day viewing. But hopefully, again, from what I'm seeing, no one can get tickets. I've seen so many people say, hey, is anyone else unable to get tickets and I've not heard of one person saying hey I got my ticket hooray it was just people being happy about the fact that this does exist at all which don't get me wrong I am as well but sadly as of right now as of the recording of this video we cannot purchase tickets we can just kind of see them kind of face to the glass maybe lick the glass a little but we can't actually get in there and purchase the tickets which does suck, but at the very least, we do know that this is happening. And also something to note as well, by the way, is that you actually can't search, at least, again, recording this video, you can't search for Shin Kamen Rider through uh, Fathom's website. So this does lead me to believe that this was something that was put up because all of this stuff has to be put up in advance and has to, you know, show up like, okay, cool, this is going live before you just end up throwing it out, you know, a live web page and then things go horrifically hurt horrifically, oh god, I need water, horrifically wrong. 
right? So you do want to make sure all that stuff works in advance, and in doing so, in the age that we're in, this internet age, you're going to see things come up in advance, and you're going to go, hold on, it's ready, it's ready, but it's it's not ready. So I definitely think that, you know, it will be ready, uh, hopefully it will be ready soon. I do think it'll be ready because, I mean, this is going to be May 31st. It will be ready sooner rather than later. And I also want to talk about the fact I mentioned earlier why this tracks, right? Why this is coming out so soon when something like Shin Ultraman took a while to come out. And the reason why, as far as I'm concerned, is because of the fact that while dubs and subs are both very hard things to do, right? You know, subs aren't just the quote-unquote quick and easy way, oh, you know, uh, ooh, so, you know, translating something, that's not that difficult. No, it is, right? Timing things are difficult, the editing is difficult, but when you compare subs and dubs, the dubs are a lot more difficult. Not just getting a cast together to dub it, not just getting, you know, uh, first of all, finding the time to get the cast together, also editing, you know, the sound mixing and whatnot, trying to make it good for not just for theatrical release, but also for home video release as well. There's so much that goes into dubbing a project that subs are definitely the significantly easier way to put something out. So the fact that this movie came out so quick in Japan and it's coming out here again May 31st, which I don't think is a placeholder date. It would be interesting if it is, but I don't think it is. I think that date is legit. It's just because of the fact that subs, again, when compared to dubs specifically, are significantly easier to put out. So I do think that it does make sense that this is coming out so soon. If anything does change, though, when it comes to either the date or the ability to purchase these tickets, I will definitely be putting out something, probably a live video with my phone or something, uh, like I did rather recently um, with uh, the, Sh uh, the SD Shin Kamen Rider Rumble uh, pre-order news, which, by the way, that is a video game that is out. You can get in English through PlayAsia. Definitely check that out. It isn't out right now, to be fair. It isn't out, it isn't out right now. I don't have a copy of it in my hands. But it is on PlayAsia for pre-order in English, even though it's not getting an official English release. It's in English. Definitely check that out too if you were interested in seeing this movie. But yes, if anything changes, I'll definitely be doing a video with my phone like that again. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Love you all. Take care. And if you like videos just like this, please remember to like and subscribe. So I'll show you.